Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So this is going to be the first ever video in the history of the world that a prepper named Nate has done a video on an inversion table. Time is of the essence because I got 20 minutes on that camera, that camera, that camera, and this camera. So anyways, why am I on an inversion table? Because it makes me feel like Batman, that's why. Uh, seriously, I injured myself a couple years back. It was a, wasn't a major injury, but I did partially herniate a disc and occasionally it bugs me. It's not a serious thing, but I like the meditative aspect of just hanging out and acting like I'm a nocturnal flying rat-like creature. Why am I doing a video like this? There really is no relation to the topic at hand. So I'm just going to get into it. I just figured it'd be different. You know, you got you to gotta keep changing it up. And that's the thing with my channel. You never know what you're going to get. Every day, it's going to be different. One day, it's going to be a gear review. One day, I'm going to be inverted on an inversion table, talking to you about how to heal your addiction problems. The next day, I'm talking about SHTF. The next day, I'm out in the wilderness with a ghillie suit. You just never know. And you got to keep it interesting like that. I don't want to typecast myself into a specific genre anyways getting off topic the cure for addiction is as follows and this is informed from working for over 10 years 11 years now actually uh, in the field of mental health and addictions as a counselor as a motivational speaker uh, in a variety of capacities so what I'm going to tell you, I got to use this camera too. It's kind of hard to use it. I guess we'll just be getting some weird angles with that one. All right. So here's the idea in a nutshell. I came up with this idea on my own. It was not informed by anybody else's material. This is something I've been preaching for years to my clients. So the main problem with people's views on addiction is that they're viewing addiction as a bad thing. My whole philosophy is that addiction is not necessarily a bad thing. You'll have a lot of people who try to provide cures for addiction. And that's the problem right there. You're trying to provide cures for something that doesn't need to be a problem. So let me explain. So if you look at all the people throughout history who've had a significant impact on society, on the world, uh, with their inventions, with their feats that they've overcome. You know, if you're talking about people who've broken world records, there's an element of obsession to what they did. And that's what addiction is. Addiction is an obsessiveness to do something. Really, the problem that addicts have is that they don't have a purpose. You give an addict a purpose and you are going to have incredible outcomes. So what you need to do if you're an addict, if you're an alcoholic, if you're any kind of drug addict, you need to take that negative energy, that, that energy that you're using to self-destruct, and you need to channel it into something constructive. The only way to do that is to migrate that obsessiveness into something which is going to benefit you in some way, shape, or form, or benefit the earth. Uh, Einstein was an addict. He was addicted to wanting to know more about the universe. That's the only thing that compelled him to move forward towards all the things that he discovered. You could call uh, an athlete an addict, somebody who was obsessed with breaking the world record for being the fastest man on the planet because they do the same thing day in and day out, training hours and hours a day for maybe a few races a year. You know, depending on which lens you look at that behavior through, you would say it's crazy, it's psychotic, it's, it's addictive, right? But they're doing something which, you know, obviously I'd say that Einstein was more significant than being the fastest man in the world. But regardless, they're doing something which is unequivocal. They're doing something which nobody else has done. They're doing something unique and something very special. So if you have an addiction, stop trying to 
not be an addict because every person I've seen in my career of over 10 years who has actually recovered has become addicted to something else and have has migrated their addiction into something else. Now you're going to get a bunch of die hard, you know, AA folks who come in and say, Oh, well, <clears throat> no, you gotta, you gotta work the 12 step program and you gotta do this and that. And that worked for them because they became addicted to, to that. They became addicted to the community uh, of AA meetings and NA meetings and that kind of thing. And that's fine. And they get addicted to sharing the meetings and you know the, the whole social benefits that come with that. We're just going to take a quick little break here. All right. Face is probably getting red. So stop trying to fight your addiction and find your purpose. Find something to be obsessed about. For me, I guess I migrated my addiction into not only the work I do in mental health and addictions, but I also migrated it into physical fitness and of course, preparedness and survivalism. And just learning more about that, that's where I found my purpose. Now, obviously there's a, a myriad of ways to find a purpose, but for all the naysayers out there who think that, you know, there's a thousand and one ways to, to cure addiction, you're wrong because 90% of people do not get cured. And the ones who do, in my experience, in my firsthand experience, seeing a variety of different therapies and techniques used, the only ones who are really successful are the ones who do what I'm saying. And I'm not saying they're doing it because I'm saying do it. They just do it naturally. And then I just went and gave it a name. And it's basically migrating your obsessiveness. And you have to recognize that addiction is a gift. The only people who have changed the world have been addicts. The only people who've conquered, you know, vast swaths of lands were people who were addicted to power. Okay. And I'm not saying that's where it still can be a negative thing. Even if you take it away from something which is self-destructive, you know, addiction, if paired with curiosity and the desire to expand and to grow is the most powerful force on the planet. So we need to stop trying to cure it and start trying to harness that energy towards something which is positive and constructive. That's the only way you're ever going to, to not destroy yourself. I mean, because otherwise, you're going to become addicted to things which destroy you, which destroy you. You could say, you know, the underlying idea is that addicts are trying to escape their problems or their feelings. It is what it is. 90% of people, 95, 99% of people, I venture to say, never are able to fully unpackage and, you know, come to terms with the deep childhood psychoanalytic stuff that they're going through. I mean, you, even if you acknowledge it, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to actually <clears throat> uh, process it and get over it. You know what I mean? So it's always going to be lingering there. So you're going to be stuck with this energy. And I firmly believe that all great things come from a place of struggle. They come from a place of absolute crap. And most great people have come from those environments. So stop running from your pain and put it into something amazing, constructive, find a purpose, find a purpose, man. And that's the only real thing that you could even call a cure for addiction. But like I say, it's not a cure. You're just migrating it into something positive. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper Out because I'm about to pass out because I got way too much blood in my head. And I don't want to have a stroke. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, the whole notification and blah, blah, blah. Check out CanadianPreparedness.com for all your prepper needs. Thanks for watching. Canadian Prepper out. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform.
We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.